Hello friends, this video on Amines part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next is Hoffman bromamine degradation. This is a very important reaction because with this you can uh, remove CO. Actually you get one carbon less than amine for example. I have RCONS2. This is my amide. You react with bromine and QOH. Bromamide. From that you can say, see you need something called bromine, amide means amide is the initial reactant and you add bromine, bromamide, that's why it's called bromamide reaction. What you get is RNH2, so if you see CO is gone from here, right, RCONH2 remove CO, you get RNH2 and you get K2CO and you get KBr and you get water. So this is a reaction, typical reaction. If you want, we can write a reaction for you. For example, I'll take ethanamide, CH3CONH2. This ethanamide, when reacts with bromine and KOH, this Br2, what you'll get is CH3NH2, that is ethanamide, methanamide actually, methanamide, plus K2CO3, plus 2KBr plus water. This is a very important reaction because if you see you get one carbon less than amide. So here we are getting one carbon less than amide. Correct? So if we, you see uh, we had this reduction of nitrile RCN where we used to get one carbon more than uh, amide uh, by reactants. Here you are getting one carbon less. So this is also very good because if you want to uh, prepare homologous series from a higher Alkane to lower alkane, one step down if you want to go, you can use this reaction. Let's see the reaction mechanism for this. So let's say I have my any RCOO NH2. This is my come. So first thing I am doing is I am reacting with the base. So base will try to get some hydrogen. So base will eat this hydrogen this bond will break. So H2O will come out, what you get is RCO N minus and you get two lone pair of electrons here. Right. Now on this you react bromine. So what will happen is this nitrogen attack this bromine and this bond will come out. So what you get is from this is R C O O N with the Br here, H here, and one Br minus came out. Again, we'll react with OH minus one base. Base will do what? Base will eat up the next hydrogen. Correct? This bond will break. So, with this, what you get is R C O N minus and Br here. Now I have a Br here. And negative charge on nitrogen. So nitrogen want to get rid of a negative charge. So bromine is a good living group. Bromine will say I will leave. So with this you get RCOO N. Correct? N with the lone pairs. But nitrogen wants to form three bonds. That's how it is more stable. So what it will do is this R will actually come here. And this bond will break in this fashion. Right, so with that, uh, carbon will get a negative charge, R plus will get a positive charge, and positive charge will be attracted towards this nitrogen. Right, now since this R plus is going to this nitrogen, nitrogen will develop a positive charge. So what you get here is COO, the negative charge, and nitrogen with the positive charge. So nitrogen with the positive charge, carbon with the negative charge, the charge will enterprise and form a bond. Correct the form of bond. You will get something like this. Right. Now on this we will do a OH minus attack. Now OH minus will attack where this carbon is something which has slightly positive charge. We have seen this because oxygen is slightly electronegative. This OH minus will attack this carbon. Correct. So now this can either go in this direction or it can go in this direction. O nitrogen and oxygen. So it will go in. The, the, you can take any way. If you take this way, again you have to come reverse and take negative charge on this nitrogen. 
So what will happen with this is COO, here you have OH and an R negative charge on this nitrogen. This is what you will get. Correct. Now what will happen is this if you see nitrogen has negative charge and hydrogen is there. So nitrogen will attack this hydrogen and this bond will break in this fashion. So this what will happen is you get O with a negative charge and you get nitrogen with H and with R because nitrogen want to form three bond. Correct. Now if you see the CO2 will come out easily. The way it will come out is this bond will break in this fashion. If it is breaking in this fashion, CO2 comes out easily because you get a positive charge here on this carbon. Positive and negative charge in oxygen will form a CO2 and this will come out. Correct. So what this, what you get is R and with a negative charge and H. Correct. Now what will happen? We have a lot of water here. So water will react H2O. So this negative charge nitrogen will attack on this hydrogen and this bond will break as OH minus. So what I will get is R NH2 and OH minus. So if you see this is the product we have got R NH2. And this is my R NH2. This is the reaction mechanism for the Hoffman bromomide reaction. Little complicated. OH minus attacks, pulls up this hydrogen, nitrogen gets a negative charge. Bromine attacks. One bromine comes here, and the other bromine leaves at Br minus. Another OH minus attacks, eats up this hydrogen. Now, since we had a leaving group bromine, bromine leaves with a negative charge, I get this compound. Here, nitrogen has only one bond, nitrogen wants three bond. So this R, this bond breaks is R plus and C minus. This nitrogen comes here, uh, R comes here. Since R plus comes here, nitrogen does a positive charge, positive charge of nitrogen, negative charge of carbon, forms a double bond, and you get this. Now again, OH minus attacks, you get this compound, right? And instead of, uh, yeah, going this direction, nitrogen gets negative charge here. Nitrogen has a negative charge, again it has two bonds only, it wants three bonds, so it attacks on this hydrogen. It acts in hydrogen, this bond breaks, it is O minus, it is NH here. Now CO2 is a good living group, CO2 will try to leave, how it will leave? This bond will go in this fashion actually. It will go in this fashion, this bond will break, this bond will break, CO2 will come out and I get something like this RNH, negative charge on nitrogen. And then they react with water, hydrogen is attached to this nitrogen. And OH minus comes up. So R NH2 is the product. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.